Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and welcome to my vlog. First of all, I would like to wish you guys Happy New Year and also wish you guys very successful and fantastic 2019. Um, it seems like it's gonna be a very, very interesting year. I'm really looking forward to it. It seems like I'm gonna have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I have a lot of projects um, coming up, a lot of photo shoots. Also, I'm planning some workshops right now. So it's gonna be, I'm hoping, very, very interesting year. So um, before I jump into this, today's topic, also I just wanna say a huge thank you for hanging out with me and sticking with me and supporting what I do and engaging uh, with my work. I'm, I'm really appreciated and I just wanna say a huge thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart to everyone who is watching this um, YouTube channel and watching what I have to say. I, I really appreciate that and, and I'm very, very thankful. So. Today's vlog, um, I think it's gonna be very, very interesting, but before I jump into this uh, topic, um, I just wanna mention one thing. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that, but I'm a huge fan of podcasts, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find interesting podcasts from different uh, people who you know specialize in you know different fields, you know different things, um, because I always kind of learn from them you know kind of their way of looking at certain things and their expertise and their opinions because sometimes I can implement those things into my photography and recently I ran into a guy his name is uh, Gabor Mate and he's a medical doctor who specializes in addictions and um, I know what you guys thinking right now, like what the hell are you talking about? Um, how addiction, what addiction has to do with headset photography, but bear with me. Um, in one of his podcasts, which I've listened uh, recently, he talks about um, shopping addiction. And I found this extremely fascinating because I actually start kind of discovering myself several years ago. When I started uh, my you know, journey with photography at the beginning of the stage, I was really, really, I have to say right now, after listening to him, that I was addicted to buying stuff and buying gear and buying equipment. And I was just overwhelmed with, with everything, especially amount of gear, what I own. And honestly, half of those stuff, I didn't even need it. I, I was buying it because there are several different reasons. Um, I was, you know, mostly that equipment makes me feel happy. Um, also makes me feel that, you know, I'm a professional and I own this stuff. Uh, but that was nothing to do with photography and my skills and my knowledge. And he actually points those things out. And I was just blown away um, listening to him about those stuff because I didn't even realize that, you know, some of us, you know, have those problems. And, you know, the more I search on internet and search online and, you know, listening to some of those photographers, you guys also probably know that as well. Um, and also the discussions which are ongoing on social media about, you know, which camera do you need this year? Which equipment do you need to upgrade? you know what new stuff um, you you have to purchase you know to make your successful and all this in my opinion BS um, kind of just fueling this whole thing so I link those stuff into this um, description but what I would like to talk today is about actually buying a gear because I've learned over the years that I have some kind of agenda um, whenever I'm, I'm buying new things and I want to talk about it and give you some tips and a little bit of advice um, I'm hoping that will give you a little bit of um, I would say idea and help you justify if you sometimes really need to buy um, you know new equipment or new accessories and, and all this stuff um, but before you we, we go there um, I just want to say one thing and this is something what I've learned um, and actually re not recently but not a long time ago that sometimes before you buy I think it's 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 worth it to look at what you have and how much equipment you gathered over the years um, you know how much of those stuff you use because I 
did that one day and honestly half of the stuff what I own I didn't use I was just buying them because you know someone told me to buy because I really really needed some of those stuff I bought because I thought I'm gonna need it but actually you know when I started using it I didn't really kind of feel that this whole thing or this accessory or this lens is really helping me out and was putting on the you know shelf or putting in the closet and then when I start kind of looking for this whole thing, 50% um, of what I had was basically uh, collecting the dust and pretty much, you know, was was basically, you know, wasting of my money and um, was basically just also um, wasting my home space because I was just keep gathering this stuff and, um, you know, that basically you know just just was there and um, I had to do something with this so actually I clean it up and now I have all my stuff if I don't use something for the six months or five months you know I put on eBay or you know any other uh, place where I can sell it because I know if I don't use something for six months um, I'm not gonna use this probably ever again if I have to probably use it again I can rent it out or buy it or whatever right so that will be the first step in my opinion before we jump into some kind of shopping so what is my actually agenda whenever I'm buying uh, new equipment or any new stuff so the first thing is and I know this is gonna sound kind of silly for some of you guys um, but I think it's extremely important um, especially nowadays where we have access to all the credit cards and you know all this you know different types of payments and then different loans and all this stuff can we really afford the equipment because sometimes we you know keep buying stuff we maxed out our credit cards and you know it's it's becoming a problem right um and and i'm not saying that you know we shouldn't take let's say a loan or you know put something on the credit card but if we don't have to don't do it because if you get into very very financial issues it's really hard for some of those people to kind of you know uh, get out of it um, you know credit cards you know they they charge insane amount of interest um, and just because you want to you know flash yourself with you know brand new top of the line camera but your credit card is maxed out um, I don't think this is a um, good idea so just kind of think about it um, you know if you're gonna be purchasing if you know your investment is, is worth it and how quickly you can pay this off um, do you have enough clients to pay it off you know how's your business is running you know how much cash flow you have um, I deeply believe this is um, extremely important the next thing what I would like to talk about it is you have to ask yourself before you purchase any uh, photography gear do you really need it and what I mean by that there's two actually things what I look at um, one of them if it, this piece of gear or you know piece of accessories gonna make your images better or it's gonna make your life easier or you know like you become more efficient you can do things um, quicker um, whenever you can improve your your um, images um, then of course you know there's no question about it you know like if you have money and all this stuff um, you know I deeply believe you should invest it but if there let's say you just upgrading just tiny bit which is barely noticeable thing then you know you have to question yourself this is really worth it to spend X amount of money uh, the same applies to you know some of those features we are getting with different accessories whatever um, if this is really um, we really need that this is gonna really speed up our process of work because you know some of those rings and bells on the cameras you know they sounds good they they, they look good um, you know it seems like th this is gonna make our life easier but doesn't make any really difference so you have to just kind of take a deep breath and 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 and, and, and analyze this and, and and make sure that this is going to really uh, affect uh, your photography affect your workflow and it's going to help you grow your business or whatever um, you're doing with your photography career so the next thing is um, i deeply believe in doing a research because 
sometimes we're getting this I have to say the kind of momentum of you know we hear a bunch of you know photographers or advertising and everyone is telling us like oh buy this because this is really good you really need that that's what's gonna happen to your photography and we're getting this kind of excitement we're getting this adrenaline rush and it's like oh my god if only i would have this would make our it would make my life really easier and then we start doing a research and we start reading some of those um, comments or we start reading some of those reviews and some of those things kind of not looking as good as the advertisement or you know some 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 of those information we're getting there that they completely true so in my opinion before you jump into buying anything um, i would definitely do some research and then uh, you know read some opinions and then and, and reach out to some other photographers who may be using that equipment uh, to give you um, a little bit of feedback what do they think you know this is really worth it and then you know just just basically uh, get some kind of behind the scene information to kind of get you confirmed on you know this purchase what you're going to do is going to be um, worth it so the next thing is and I also deeply believe that and I know nowadays it's much much easier if you're buying some equipment which is I would say extremely expensive and let's say we're talking about new body or um, you're buying a new lens and you're not sure about it um, I highly recommend it to rent it out um, depends where you live some of those big cities they have um, huge rental departments where you know you can for fairly cheap rent it out lens or body or whatever you 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 planning to buy and just take it for a weekend play with it test it see what kind of results you're getting and then you can make a decision um, sometimes I found and I I've been there several times where um, I was planning to buy some lens and, and I rent it out and actually I didn't like it um, the colors were not right uh, I know there was a long time ago now we're living in a completely different era but um, at the same time I think if you planning to spend a lot of money on something make sure um, before you buy you you getting the right stuff and then you're gonna know you're gonna be um, happy with it so another thing and this is for someone who is you know I would say struggling a little bit with the money and then can afford it brand new stuff um, another option is buying used stuff and I'm a huge fan of that uh, maybe not camera bodies and maybe not lenses um, depends but you still can get a good deal on the body or on the lens um, but there's a lot of lot of stuff which you can buy used and you can save a lot of money um, I have to admit that I purchased my soft boxes some speed lights um, th this whole thing was used and it was perfect conditions you can do a little bit of research you can talk to the owner and I was buying stuff which was pretty much brand new because someone bought it, didn't really use it or was just collecting the dust as I said before on, on their shelf and they just want to get rid of it. And usually you're just paying half price even less for brand new stuff. Um, of course you don't have a warranty on some of those stuff. There's some you know other issues and the risk that equipment might be uh, broken or whatever but I found nowadays some of those stuff you can definitely test it you can definitely try it out you can send for inspection and, and and if someone tells you like okay don't worry do that inspect the, the equipment that kind of also gives you um, I would say assurance that the stuff which you're buying um, they're in a good shape so I would highly recommend it before you purchase anything test it out and and, and basically um, just see if you can buy it uh, used stuff because you can save a lot of lot of money so the last thing what I want to talk about is definitely um, one of those components which like I don't want to say it's a huge deal but I think it's worth it to mention because you know some of the stuff what we are buying nowadays uh, well, let's say you purchasing like brand new top-of-the-line camera and after you know six months a year um the, the 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 value of this product just drops it's it's just a normal thing but you know some of those stuff 
definitely keeps the value. I found especially lenses, um, you know, some of those those things which um, you know kind of keep the value you can definitely check that out you know how much the equipment you're planning to, to to buy keeps the value over the time and I found this is very important because for example like if you buy let's say used equipment and play for a little bit you can still sell it for similar price if you're not happy with this and then you cannot actually excite it or you know you're not getting the results you're looking for you can still sell it for similar price so I found you can definitely try it out and see you know how much those stuff cost used and how much keeps the value so this is like a little little thing which I think it's 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 worth it to mention because I've been selling some of my stuff back and forth um, and then you know some of some of those things that I used for a while and I sold it and I didn't lose a lot of money so this is also something which you can consider that you know you might let's say not have a lot of money but you can buy it play a little bit sell it and you still have this value and you can still kind of you know in case of there's something kind of goes wrong or you let's say don't want to do this anymore or whatever you still can resell it and um, yeah just get your money back so those are little points which I want to mention um, I hope that was um, interesting I definitely link um, those um, podcasts from this uh, guy I, I think he's amazingly um, interesting and the stuff what he's saying just really opens your mind on um, our habits to shopping and our habits to you know kind of purchasing you know different things and then he also talks from kind of um, emotional side and psychological side so I was extremely extremely um, fascinated by what he had said and I had no idea even some of those stuff what he said about myself but when I look back I was just like you know pulling my hair out because I was just like oh my god like you know what was wrong with me now over the time you know we don't really we change and you know like we make those much more conscious uh, decision and we kind of look at things differently but we had to um, get there um, and the main reason I want to talk about it because I know there's a lot of new guys out there who are starting off and they jumping on this you know shopping spree and then and, and they buying all this stuff which they don't need and you know they can't afford and all this stuff and that's what kind of um, sh they shooting themselves in the foot you know right from the bat and this is not a good thing um, you know and I want to spread that message because if that might help someone to save a few dollars and then you know make them successful photographer along the way that's gonna be a um, huge bonus for me so thank you for watching I hope that it was interesting if you guys would like to add anything to this or comment something please uh, feel free I, I always looking forward to hear your comments um, that always fascinates me and um, yeah thank you for watching stay tuned those there will be another video this week with um, behind the scenes so stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys very soon bye bye